Okay, welcome to video two for semantic endpoint protection. Um, I was in the process of restarting this computer. So let's restart it here. And um, what I'm going to do while this is restarting, I'm going to pause the video and I'll be right back. Okay, Windows is restarting now. Um, as you can see, we have Antivirus Pro 2010 still installed, still going away there. And. Uh, Let's uh, check out, see what semantic endpoint protection is uh, showing us here. Okay, I don't know why that's turned off. It should be on. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to do a full scan. And uh, let me check live update one more time here, but I'm pretty sure that it's uh, up to date. Okay, says all semantic products installed are up to date. Well, at least as I said before, it popped off. So let's start a full scan here and uh, let's see what it can do for. Uh, maybe it can get rid of uh, Antivirus Pro 2010. So while this is scanning, I'm going to pause the video and I'm also going to go download Malwarebytes and we'll give it a scan. And uh, after this scans and cleans whatever it finds, we'll check out with Malwarebytes to see if it missed anything. Um, other than maybe antivirus pro so I will be back see you in a second okay so um, I actually had to start the scan over again and I had to do a quick scan because something uh, actually crashed and tried to disable um, the user interface and um, for right now uh, I actually gotta remove a um, kube face worm so and but it did get rid of the um, Antivirus, Antivirus Pro here. It looks like it got rid of it. Oh, no, I didn't. I guess it just crashed for some odd reason. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to remove this risk. And I'm going to start another scan. Um, a, uh, I'm going to start another full scan. and try to get rid of antivirus pro because during that first scan it actually found it but something happened during that full scan and it crashed so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close antivirus pro and then I'm gonna start another full scan and it, it takes forever but what can I do right so let's run a full scan here and see what we can get rid of uh, antivirus pro from the system so once again, I'll pause the video and I'll be back whenever this is done. I don't know, half hour, whatever it takes. See you when it's done. Okay, so I'm back. Um, I just finished scanning here and it found this coop face again and I, I don't think it killed it. Um, so we'll try to get rid of it again. And during the first scan, before it crashed, it found Antivirus Pro 2010. For some odd reason, it's not finding it now anymore. So what I'm going to do is, um, after this is removed, I'm going to restart the computer here, the virtual machine, and do another full scan. So we'll see if it finds it again. So I'll see you guys in a second. And it'll probably take like 20 minutes for me, but it'll be real quick for you. Okay, so this scan just finished, um, and it found that Kubeface Trojan again, whatever, and it seems to can't get rid of it for some odd reason. But it did find Antivirus Pro now, so let's see what it can do here. Okay, status cleaned. It's completed here, except I think it's still here. Yeah, see, it's still there. So let's see what I can do here. Maybe if I, hmm, we'll undo the action. Ah, 
Oh, it just found it in the browser cache. That's where they found it. It it didn't <laughs> it didn't clean it off the computer. It just deleted it off the uh, Internet Explorer temporary files. So it's it's still on the computer. Uh, it's just weird. And let's take a look at this one. Yeah, see there you go. Yet again, it didn't clean it off the computer. It just got rid of it off of browser cache. So that's just screwy. It should have got rid of it completely, but um, okay. Well, let's uh, run malware bytes here and see what he can find. It's just weird how that how that operated. So what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna turn my internet back on. I'm gonna install malware bytes just like I normally do. update and then um, I'm gonna do a, f a quick scan and um, what I'll do is I'll pause the video right now while the quick scans working away and uh, I'll come back after the quick scans done so um, I'll see you guys in a second okay so uh, the scan just finished here and surprise surprise I said it found 48 things that's a lot so let's take here let's take a look here Okay, so I found Antivirus Pro, Registry Key, that PP12, that Coop Face, Registry Key for the Coop Face, something in the Recycler bin, Zbot, uh, Fake Alert, some stuff in Temp File, Antivirus Pro, Registry Key, Antivirus Pro, Antivirus Pro, some Coop Face Trace again, Coop Face, Coop Face. Boy, there's a lot of junk on this computer. Security Center is disabled. Antivirus Pro 2010. Rogue Antivirus Pro 2000. I mean, all sorts of junk in this computer here. So as you can see, um, it did okay. It didn't do great. Um, it couldn't remove. I mean, even though it detected that Kube face and the Antivirus Pro 2010, as you saw, it got rid of them from my temp files, but why it didn't try to get rid of them from the computer itself, I don't know. But whatever. Um, that's my review for Semantic uh, Endpoint Protection, and um, I'm going to stop this review now. I'll, I'll give Semantic, I guess, uh, a 6 out of 10. I don't think it deserves more than a six. Even though it can find them, it just can't get rid of them, which is weird. Um, maybe a six and a half. So uh, I'm going to stop this review right now. I got one more coming up, and um, I'm going to get started on that one. I'll talk to you guys later.